Should we start or wait for them to get back? Should we start? Hey, hey. It's Tony Hawk. Dude. <laughs> this dude. My neck is killing me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that is a bridge too far. <laughs> Here we go. And I'm not Tony Hall. Hey, what's up? It's Tony, and uh, I am doing a performance, a talk, collaborative talk with Rodney Mullen in New York on April 4th, coming up real soon. There's still tickets available, and then we're going to Austin April 7th at uh, Austin City Limits Live. I have been talking to Rodney for at least an hour and a half, two hours a day, and we have something really cool in, in store, and uh, I'm, I'm very excited about it. We're excited to share it with you. Come see us. I promise it'll be worth it. Uh, tickets are available right now. Go see you there. Appreciate it. I did. My neck hurts. I heard you slammed. Because I slammed in the exact same spot that you slammed in, yeah. sliding out. Because it's there's a little slick spot. I don't know. There. I don't know. We need to show. I showed the video. We're both Do some experts. We're both Funny elastic. <laughs> Excellent skateboarders, high level, and I slipped out out of nowhere, got knocked I know out, out. I know I guess slid out, but and then you because it's it's I did it and I'm like, yeah, well, you suck. You do it. That means the ramp is slippery. I did it because it means that I don't suck. It goes back to making me good. <laughs> I did it because I was way ahead of myself in the line and I was already So you're blaming you know yourself. Goes. Yeah, of course it's my fault. <sighs> I mean, the ramp is slippery. What do you think? Is the ramp some more slippery? I ate shit doing the exact same thing like a week ago. So. Oh, oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. I'm validated. Thank you. Oh, that feels so... You have no idea what you just did for my I life, know. dude. Tom, welcome to the show. You made us really feel good about ourselves yeah. Seriously, when we eat fault. shit. It's like, it's like goodwill hunting. He just basically said it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not your fault. Seriously. It's not I your fault. I will cry and hug your ass. Right not your now, fault. Ah. I seriously thought it was my fault. Wait, what were you doing when you slid out? Um, I was setting up to go over the Some channel and I just like, very old <laughs> Don't do it, yeah. it was just like moving my feet on the flat and I just did it like too quick. And then you went like front side slide out. No, like wash out or shoulder, like just whiplash oh. straight to the back. Not it's very sleek there. It's pretty slick. It's that middle. Mysterious. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. Of <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you going to hit? <laughs> there you might make it out. You might not. People disappear there. <laughs> yeah. yeah one I time, disappeared. One time I crossed over it, and then the next thing you know, I was in another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Go through the channel. People were uh, asking me, why am I here? And I was like, I don't know. Why are you here? <laughs> oh, that was one of those people. Yeah. Yeah. And for some weird reason, every time I wake up from being unconscious, Tony Hawk is there asking Standing me over where it. I am and why I'm here. And then I usually know when he's asking me that, something bad happened. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, Tom, what's happening? Not much. What do you mean not much? Not much. You, got, you mean like right now because you're on this show? Or do you mean <laughs> because you've been In, everywhere, you've been like traveling the world, right? Yeah, it's been a lot of traveling. But um, I'm finally home for a little bit, which is nice. I how long has been home this. for a little bit? Like how long have you been back? Not long. Like- Two weeks is a pretty long time now. Because usually you're just on the road. Yeah, it's a lot of. Lot when, of you, when we went to Oz, you were there uh, ripping. By the he way, he was there Thank skating you. everything as if everything is a vert ramp with um, no pads <clears> in no that pads. bowl. But then like, he just dude, stayed. I've skated that bowl. He like, just stayed behind. Yeah, because they would have they would have loved you and hoisted you around the country. Uh, Australia is great. Yeah, I'd but the way there. you skate, I'm sure <laughs> Australia was like, we need to keep him. Well, I stayed longer for the Belco Bowl Jam thing. The Belco Bowl Jam. Yeah. Um, that sounds so Australian. It was. It's, it's the most I Australian it, thing. I take it it's Belco's Bowl? <laughs> it, it, I don't know if there's someone named Belco. Oh, it's, No, that's the name of the, the city, I think. Something really? Like that. Yeah. I was going to say. I don't know. Is it? But is, it, is the city called Belco or is it called Bell? It's called Bel, Belconan or something like that. Okay, so because you got to change it. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, it's got to be a nickname. Belco, mate. Yeah. The Belco Bowl. How'd you do it? The Belco Bowl. Uh, it was fun. Did it's you win? like a little, I did, I did win. You won the Belco bowl. I did. So they say you're sick. They did. Yeah. yeah. They did say that. You can bleep that. But that's in, in, in my country, we don't bleep that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the first thing I say when I get there. That's it's great. You got her. <laughs> <laughs> was Jake Brown there? Jake Brown was there. 
The legend himself. Jake Brown was there. Skating or just walking around being a badass? Just walking around being a badass. Yeah. At yeah. this point, I think it's fair. Yeah, for yeah. sure. He's done enough. I'm looking forward to it. Is it really that he necessary? Gets the, to that. He gets the uh, Just for Showing Up award, like they give in Tampa. <laughs> yeah. They give in Tampa every year. They give a uh, Just for Showing Up award. Oh, really? I won it one year. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I got asked to be the announcer this year for the Vert contest, and I, I can't because I'm doing stand up. And they were like, we, we want you here, man. You're, you're the best announcer there is, except for Dave Duncan. <laughs> so that means Dave like, said no. That, that was a that was a high praise. <laughs> That's high praise. Yeah. yeah, I was like, thank you very much. I really want to go, but I I, I wonder how if there. I I know Dave does do stuff, but when Dave does everything, <laughs> but all the all the vert stuff now. Yeah, I mean, he still can. He still can. I, he's he's amazing. I just wonder. I wonder what his version of the tricks are. That's what that's what I'm more. Oh, like, the, I tell you what, what is his translation? Of <laughs> I'll tell you what the translation is. Yeah. <laughs> that works as soon as it goes that past works. 180 and and boards flip up with back foot or something I mean, like no, that he's, just he's like, got yeah. you know he, he knows all the vertrix he does from know. the 80s and everything but i just mean like now I, I half the time i don't know what to call things like you did that you did nolly backside 360 yeah and like, i so bad want to say it's a switch front cab but i mean it could be either one whatever whatever dave calls it because the way he does what it. it is yeah but it's still what it is and you know it i know but Stop confusing yourself. By the way, the, so what I the word I got, Tom, skating for Birdhouse now, yeah. so excited. Yeah. And the word I got was like, Tom's got to focus on Olympic stuff. So, you know, no vert for now, which I'm not pushing, but I just was told that. And then the next day I get a clip of him <laughs> doing Nolly backside 360 over the gap. And I'm yeah, like, well, isn't that the dude that can't skate vert right now? Does that mean you're going to do that in the park? <laughs> I uh, I wish if the ramps are like the walls were big enough in the park, but they're all. So it does it does make a difference even for you. Yeah, for sure. It does seem like some of the park stuff that you do. I'm like, how can you do that in there? Well, when I was like younger, scaled down to that size of like the parks felt like a vert ramp, but now I skate them and it feels like a yeah, but you, mini ramp kind of. I swear you were three feet tall and then you're six feet tall. Yeah, I grew like in an instant. So were you. <laughs> You did the same thing. <laughs> you were a flying mushroom. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> wah, freaking. Yeah, but every, I don't know. But in our generation, you couldn't outgrow the small stuff because it was all small. Oh, yeah. Good point. But he was able, yeah. I mean, and, and with good reason, he was like, oh, now I can skate this big stuff and now I can skate it bigger than anyone. Yeah. I think I grew like 13 inches when I was 17 or something like that. Wow. Yeah. It was painful. It hurt. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you at all. Were there any advantages though that you that you found um kinda immediately? Like at that time I was skating the combi bowl a lot. Yeah. yeah. And before it felt like huge and scary. And yeah. then a year later it felt normal. Oh, I see. So it kind of everything got a little smaller. What was okay, take us back. You started skating, you were living in LA. Yeah. I grew up in Malibu, up in LA. And you had, a, was it your ramp or you had access to a ramp? I had a ramp in our backyard, but nobody within 20 miles of there skated really. So it was just me and like a couple of people that I grew up skating with. My brother used to skate. He, uh, he got me into it. And then, yeah, we had the ramp, what, but no one was around. What drew you to vert? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I'm trying to remember how I first, well, I mean, it, pretty much everyone that's skating right now okay. on the ramp. <laughs> But my brother skated street, so I'm actually really surprised that I never got into that. Uh -huh. I think I just kind of always somehow, it must have been like a video that I had. Maybe like I your first knee kid. slide, the, the sky's parted. Like, oh, this <laughs> is it. You know, somebody, this is how you fall. Somebody commented on X yesterday, uh, just so you guys know, when you do the podcast, it sounds like there's something like a skateboard sound in the background every now and then. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Because we're at the ramp. <laughs> yeah, yeah McCone, McCone said we should do a Goodfellas uh, walkthrough where we're skating and then just show us come through the channel into here. Because we are literally 40 feet from the ramp. Stay and and you should do that. I'm not doing it. Right now, <laughs> I'll get Jimmy destroyed. Wilkins, Colin McKay, Lincoln Ueda, who doesn't miss a beat. Nope. Bucky. Bucky, Bucky. Lassick. Yeah, that's, that's right now. Like, I was that's just on there That's just ripping. a microcosm. He was Jason there. was ripping. Thank you. You hear that, kids? <laughs> Ripping. <laughs> Chris, Cristiano? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cristiano learned. I helped him. Did he learn Madonna just now? No, he could do just... Okay. Because <laughs> it looked like you taught him how to do it. What? 
Yeah, no. Well, I told him to redo it. Okay. Okay, maybe he hasn't done it. Relearn it. But he needed to <laughs> he needed to make it and I was getting She claim it. You taught him how to do I it. I did. I, you're <laughs> welcome. I, I give lessons any DM me if you want to learn how to do Madonna's. I will help you too, kids. Just know that it's tough love. My coaching is tough. I, I need know. I need help with Madonna's. I don't know if I've ever Shut, you don't I don't need think I've with... ever done one. So. Really? Yeah. I'm not letting you have it. Yeah, right. We're gonna have one thing over on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah I missed I skipped uh, like every trick to tail is not in my Wheelhouse, I can't do it. No body jars. I've seen you body jars. <laughs> like that high above the coping. Oh, wow. Yeah, what, really bad ones. Well, they, you... Take it from us. They're dangerous. I know. Yeah. I've seen a lot of slams on body jars. Yeah. yeah. I think that kind of deterred me from <laughs> Yeah, but if you them. did it for like 15 minutes, it would be yours, just yeah. like everything else you do. I don't know. Okay, so take us back. You're you're skating this private vert ramp alone. Yeah, pretty most much. Most of the time. Most of the time alone. How are you getting motivated to, I mean- I saw, you know, you were, you were the original little spinner kid. Yeah. Yeah, I was a lot of spinning in my, my childhood. Um, That's okay. No, it is okay. <laughs> I'm it, all for it. <laughs> it was a lot of skating. I actually, uh, Lizzie Armanto, I skated with her a lot. She lived in like Santa Monica. There was a couple, couple other people from Santa Monica that would come up to skate our ramp sometimes, but most of the time it was just me and my dad just skating the ramp. Wait, your dad was skating? No, my dad was not skating. I should have said that differently. But he, he was, was there watching. You but know, that helps, though. Yeah, absolutely. Like skating completely Wait, by yourself? sure. Didn't I skate the instantest why with your dad? Like, he skated? I thought so. No. It doesn't sound like no. it. No? My dad, uh, we were <laughs> at the indoor vans. He tried to drop in on like the, there's like a two foot or three foot mini oh. ramp in the back. And he, yeah. he broke his ankle. Yeah. Because so you can do that. that was, oh, wait, maybe it was Justin's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Chad, skates, right? Yeah, yeah. Chad okay. skates. But uh, yeah, no, that was the end of the start and the end of my dad's. He, he broke career. his ankle. Yeah, his like back foot slipped off. Oh, oh, yeah, and it just stuck, and it yeah, no. He did the, the uh, what's the skater girls? Almost Avril Lavigne. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I almost, I almost <laughs> really. It could have been. I taught <laughs> Avril Lavigne to drop in our mini ramp, and it it, it almost went south. It could have been. Front page news, horrific. She would have had to change the song. Like you know when you fall, it would have been your dad. It would have yeah. been your yeah. dad. She did the same slam, but she got away with it. She got lucky bones and tendons, <laughs> yeah. and was like, "Whoa, that was crazy!" Like when I saw the video, I was like, "How are you?" Because that's usually the one where you yeah. are down, your foot's yeah. pointing the other way. It's bad. Did your dad surf? Yeah, he grew up surfing a lot, and uh, I don't know if that translated into me skating somehow. But can you surf? No, I suck at surfing. Me too. Yeah, that was never What's my up thing. What's up with that? I don't know. People think well, that skating and surfing. time. You guys say it as if it's some some skill you just are inherit. I think it is. Yeah, thank you. I swear. Yeah, yeah. It takes so long to figure out. <laughs> it makes no sense. For one, how to how to stand up. <laughs> Two, how to read a wave. Oh, Three, yeah. how to go down the line. There's just so many elements to it. Maybe it's like it's the I, steepest learning curve. Maybe it's because I can't read. But you guys, I've seen you both ride waves. I've ridden wave pools with both of you. Yeah, but I've seen you both ride waves. Yeah, both. I get very frustrated when I go surfing, though. Yeah, me yes. too. Yeah. Because it's like they change all the time, and then one it's comes up. It's not the up, same. You don't yeah. paddle. The, like, I can't get on it. And then I'm like, oh, man, and now I'm in the- It's very the, frustrating. Yeah. yeah. And, and and there's giant sea creatures that eat oh, people. Oh, stop it. Yeah, that part's not sick. There's no sharks at the vert ramp. All right. Imagine if you <laughs> fell on the vert ramp, and then a giant monster ate your leg. <laughs> Like what a what a tough day at the office. You know? I'm not I'm not skating that very around. There's too many, <laughs> right? Dude, there's too many giant there's those flat bottom creatures. Yeah. It could be encouraging though, you know. They'd probably never fall. Right. Yeah. They'd still try to get you. Have they ever <laughs> attacked a person? Because I know in a movie they did, but they have attacked they there they was a surfer surfing. Yes. There is a video of a of a shark and now Damn it! You see, yeah, McCone. Another thing McCone can do it. Find. This is a surf attack. That's McCone's. <laughs> I area. hesitate to tell stories because I know someone's gonna pull it up. I'm no. I'm gonna have to go. Most likely, McCone kills it. But most likely, if it's some specific to skating, I'm gonna have to go dig for that <laughs> clip deep in the archives. Yeah, like next week, I'm gonna be listening to the show. Like, oh, here we go. Where is that <laughs> stupid trick that I saw sometime <laughs> in the last ten years? And I have uh -huh. seen two sharks. Attack a dude on a wave, like jump at him. Two. Yeah, that guy's a legend. Why isn't he on the show? <laughs> yeah, is he alive? Yeah, they missed. They they and they no hit each other. Way. I think they didn't even know they were both going for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Or, dude, I don't that know. guy is. The I might. I might guy. have the exact details of it. Nobody's cooler than this guy. Well, one. Uh, 
someone got attacked at a South Africa event, like an actual shark, and he was and he's filmed punching it in his heat. Although that's he's a pro, waiting oh, for a wave. That's a pro surf. That's a strange that guy. Mick Fanning, right? Mick Fanning, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. we fight sharks. It's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't. If there's any sharks watching, come at me. Is this it? No, nah, there's one that one was. In, oh, oh, oh my god, yeah, that's it. dude, that is worse. Yeah, I'm good on all that, dude. And he lived as well. I so want to be him. Not <laughs> just for that one moment. I want to be the guy that's like <laughs> on video. A giant shark attacks me, but I'm go. I go, whoa, bro, that was close. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not. I got no arms. Well, I mean, we, we talked no, to we talked to poopies who landed in a pool yeah, but they of were, sharks. They were little. <laughs> Anyway, it would that be? All right, Tom. So, you're skating vert. What inspires you to even learn tricks? Like, I, I, I know the the plight of the solo vert skater, but when you're young, and you're trying to get motivated, I wonder how that. It was a lot of just watching videos and just kind of seeing tricks that I thought I could maybe try, and then I don't know, just going out there and trying the same thing for hours and hours. Okay, you learned seven twenties when you were. 10 or something? Yeah, I think I was like 10. I hate you. Something like that. <laughs> and now it's crazy when you talk about it because that was, I don't know how old you right now, but that was, how old are you now? 24. Okay, so old. that was 14 years ago. Nowadays, there is this whole generation coming up that of young ramp skaters. They're learning fives and sevens at a very early age, but you were truly an anomaly. Like no one, no one was even skating vert then, hardly, right? Yeah, there was it was hard to find other people that skated vert. If I was skating vert with other people, they were twice or three times my age. Right. That was it. I was the only kid. Well, I mean, there was other kids for sure, but like in where I lived, it was kind of just me. But does that get you fully juiced now because you've put in all these years skating by yourself and now you're in the vert world, one of the champs and it's thriving and there's like a bunch of us and we're all I mean, we have this ramp. It's pretty sick. Vert's like it's making a comeback. Right? Because I yeah. feel like I've been in a few eras of vert skating, and this one is, I mean, maybe it's because I don't care about being good anymore, so that bit's gone. It's just fun. Yeah. Like everybody's, there's like old, you know what I mean? There's 10-year-olds and there's 50-year-olds. and It's pretty sick right Everybody's nice now. and encouraging. There's no like, I never get bullied or my board never gets thrown in the trash can. That happened to me to get out of here. all the time. It's, it oh, did? Yeah. All the time. I think I'm like the last kind of You were the, the last one to get bullied I for it? I think so, I swear. People would like zip tie my board to like Who? poles before. Did you? I'd, what? <laughs> yeah. Did you have? Sorry to laugh, but <laughs> no, we all live through it. Yeah. Very uh, funny. Did you have rails on your board? No, I never had rails. Because that was the kiss of death in the nineties. It was just like, are you serious? You have rails. rails on your board? <laughs> I remember no. I was on Element back in the day, and Stevie Williams was on Element way back, and Stevie called the manager, the owner of Element, and he was on the phone with him, and he and he goes, "Hey, Alice, you like this?" Uh, Stevie just asked, what are those plastic things that people put on their board? And he yep. had to explain what rail. He had no idea what they were and why anybody would put them on there. <laughs> I tried it once and I immediately did not like it. Just weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we just had to, now nah, it's a long story of why we use rails, but <laughs> there, there are various, it makes various sense. reasons. The boards are better now. And yeah. I was trying to I think nice. so. Yeah. I don't know. They're better well. shapes. Yeah. Yeah. I always had fat kid problems. <laughs> you know I mean, because boards, when I got real good, then street skating got real big and boards got real small. And then when I was pro, people would give me boards where the tail would flex out. Oh, that's the And worst. I'd have to ask. I was, I guess I just realized I was very fortunate. I was pro and I'd be like, hey, can you make these boards thicker? And I don't think if I wasn't me, that would have been like, <laughs> no. You know what I mean? But they were like, yeah. Like Paul Schmidt was like, I can make you a reinforced board. <laughs> reinforced. It was board. seriously because because there was a yeah. time when I was on Element where and it screws up your timing too on the snap. Oh, if yeah, it flexes. Tails flexing. Yeah. yeah, I would put my foot. I would move my back foot towards the bolts when I would start to go overhead high because my tail Otherwise would just would, flex out, yeah. Yeah. and then I'd do the whip out thing on the way up the wall, and little wheels. It was cool because yeah. you could do like pointer grinds or whatever. But when it like I didn't, I was never good at that i wanted to go high and it what's, was like what's I a could, pointer grind what, what is it what do you salad oh no what pointer grind no nah, like a k grind nose grind where you angle it a oh crook? yeah what do you call yeah, it a crook a crooked grind yeah what did i call it 
A pointer gun? A pointer? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got knocked out the other day, man. I thought that was something. Uh, in my defense, I feel like a pointer sounds more like a salad grind to me. Yeah, but I own salad grinds, and they're called salad grinds. Ooh. I... It's one. I won't argue that one. I've never done a salad grind, so... I don't like like pushing it out (laughs) so the wheels fall out. Can you do one? Kind of. Can I? They're pretty terrible. I do front feebles, and they end up looking like salad grinds because I just barely tap my rail. That's what what I do, too. That's pretty cool, though. I can't do front feebles. See, I I can't do feebles. I mean, if you you saw it, you'd be like... I I disagree. Okay. Like you could do but what? I would try. I would I believe, yeah. If you could do, yeah. Yes. If you could do a salad. I would try. If, like you guys have. Yeah, because and, and all you'd have to do is drop it a little bit and you could lock into it. It's like a lazier salad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I feel like what you're talking. Get patted up, bro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to figure this one out. We're going to cut just, this thing short. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to front go. feebles. Okay. <laughs> Um, it is fun talking to Tom because he can do every trick. Yeah. No, that's uh, not true. You got way better recently though. Dude. Like you've always been good, but recently, like, cause I would have said, you know, you're in the, you're in the top five, but the last six months or a year, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know time, but you're a whole nother level of vert skater. Dude. Thank like you. you've changed Thank you. the way we all do it. Like the, this, it's like the tricks. Yeah. Everyone's progressing, but to do a frontside blunt slide and then to go eight feet on the other side, I don't even, I'm a vert dude and I don't understand how you do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like where did you get the speed out of a, like it's, it's, it's supernatural, man. It's amazing. It really is. Thank you. I'm so impressed by it. It freaks me out. <laughs> it also makes me happy because, you know, it's like uh, Jimmy Wilkins makes me happy because the way he does tricks, I'm like, yes, man. Like, skateboarding deserves respect like do like do skateboarding in a way where i love to watch it i don't even have to do it i just want to watch you do it and i'm happy that i'm alive to see you do it and you do tricks where i go yeah man <laughs> like why wouldn't we why haven't know, we why done this want, before because they're impossibly hard it seemed it would, it would until you existed it did yeah, seem there were there were, tri- there were tricks that he does where we would have just gone up as a funny attempt to, yeah, from, but it to make people that laugh. Funny. Like, can you imagine this? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Like, the, the frontside blunt, you do them so much now that they've changed. Like, you get, yeah. you you get, when you pop off, you pop off, like, six inches higher than you used to. I think that's just from, I, like, I think all the park skating that I did for a while, I mean, I'm still doing it. Yeah. But I think that kind of, like, changed the way I skated vert because I, like, think about it more... When I was a kid, I skated vert, and it was just airs all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never really did any lip tricks, and then now yeah. I'm kind of lip tricks to, are the way to get speed in park. Kind yeah, of, pretty right? much. Yeah, like a lip trick's like a setup wall, more yeah. or less. So I think because airs kinda, are so dicey, you're gonna you probably you're gonna land low. Yeah, because you're doing a six foot air on like a nine foot quarter pipe. It right. just doesn't. Work. Do you think that has something to do with it that you can get speed in park from lip tricks, and you do it so much that you figured out how to get another gear on the vert ramp? Maybe that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, because you do you find extra speed in the in whatever line it is you do before you blast into something, and you do it so much that now when you do a frontside blind on the vert ramp, you land with yeah another gear. I think that that adds. I might have just figured you out. Dude. I think so. <laughs> and then and then you're also like you're you're liberated because you're not on a small transition, so it's like oh, I can use the speed. You can actually go somewhere with air. it. Yeah, yeah, it's very that, nice. That makes sense. If you're right, going we really fast in a park, you're just like holding on for dear life. Yeah. They're easy to like, if there's not a big wall or something to use your speed with, you're kind of just like screwed. You're, right. cu- you're looking at a wall. Yeah. Or it's just like either a six foot, I don't know. The no, parks, I know. But that, okay, so I want to get into that because you live in a unique space because you are one of the best park skaters and arguably one of the best, if not the best vert skater and no one really does both like that. Tate, um, Tate, can. Tate definitely does. Um, Tate, Tate's got, got both for sure. But, but it seems like you've, you've leveled up in vert so much that it seems like it is hindered what you can do in part. It kind of right? has honestly, cause I try and, but you're, you're still, you're still trying to do that because Olympics and competitions and things like that. Yeah. Like that seems like such a paradox. 
I'll like learn something in vert and then I'm like, oh, I could probably do that in a park run somehow. And then it just like doesn't really work the way I think it does. So then I kind of have to like, I don't want to say like dumb down the tricks that I do in a you, park contest. No, you can say but, that. Absolutely. Yeah, kinda, I'll say it for you. I kind of do though. Yeah. You sucks. have to be conservative with yeah. the tricks and with the techniques because that's, that's all that's possible there. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, it just seems like it's, it's a, it's a tough position to be in because I know that you do will, sometimes you will solely focus on park skating to try to get in that mode because there's all the competitions, yeah. you got to get the points, you got to qualify and whatever else. And then you'll break out for a day, skate a big ramp and everything resets. Kind of. I mean, like as soon as I get home from a trip, this is the first thing I come skate is mm -hmm. this ramp. Like I don't go skate a park and I don't know if that helps or makes it worse, but this is like what I want to be skating. I was does it think I so learned. does it feel like when you're skating park, that's more work? Yeah, it definitely does. Cause I'll learn like, it's so much easier for me to learn something on vert than if I were to try and start and learn it in a park right? and uh -huh. then bring it to vert, it'd be yeah. way, way harder. Huh. But I don't know. Cause there's things you can learn on a vert ramp that just like don't really work on a smaller like concrete. What? Uh, there's a couple people that do like kickflip fives in a park contest, but it's 10 times harder to do it. Is this there. a body barrier one or? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't think anyone's doing the non body barrier ones. It's just in a what park they call contest. it. Huh? It's a kickflip five. It's just body barrier. That's just what I'm abbreviating. But right. yeah, kickflip body barrier five. Because yeah. no one does kickflip McTwist. Is that what you would not call since, it? Not since Danny Mayer. Well, unless, no. you're, unless you're catching it there. I mean, most people do kickflip melon fives. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's Mitchie, the preferred grab. Oh. Not, not for me. Yeah, not for me either. Else. I don't like that one. Yeah, well, he does tail grab. So he's he's can you flip tail grab five. Yeah, you did. I did one, <laughs> dude. What yeah, I know that. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> reaching back? Like, I wonder if my skateboard's anywhere near this hand. <laughs> dude, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> hey, I caught it. Yeah, not on the tail. Man, I used to be so proud of myself that I could keep flip and grab mute. Like that it would land in my hand. I never made one, but it, I would just—I thought it was so tricky because it would—I would catch it. I think like I would do—I would do kickflip tail mall grab. That's how I would probably like catch a it. truck. I'm just saying that's the only way that oh, I, I would oh. be reaching for it, yeah. and then I catch the truck and be like, "Well, I got it." I, I'm not making it. I'm just that could be I'm a new trick <laughs> That new would, trick. for you. Yeah, you're welcome. You can there invent you a new trick. Yeah, that's enough. I don't really know if there's many tricks left to get invented. I feel like it's kind I, of. Big. I've seen you do a couple recently, so there are there. Yeah, are but nothing's like getting new names, you know. Like, yeah, I I tried to I tried to do a couple names recently. It just doesn't stick. Anymore. There's just obscure trick. No one is ever going to do it. It's not even because they're harder. They're just people are like, nah. That just looks like a hassle. <laughs> yeah, uh, we should bring back naming tricks, though. I did. I mean, I, I named I named one after my wife. I named one after I named I, Madonna version is the Madge because. That's her nickname. Yeah, but you keep it all. You're not like you don't. You're not loud like me. You know, <laughs> like you're like, yeah, man, I did it. Whatever. Like I, I put no, a, You didn't post it. No one is trying Madonna to sugarcane or switch truck to fakey. No one's trying it, and I don't think they're not trying it because of the difficulty. I think if, they're just they're just it's just not. I think if I did it, everybody would know the name of it. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll teach you that too. I don't want to do. You, you got to come trick. up with something new. Yeah, I got it. I got a trick. Do that backside then. Some I'm salad. That Sean Penn. Backside tail slide. I was going to call it the gay slide, but now I've changed my mind about that name. <laughs> okay. You know, I just might call it the Ellis slide or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Leave those guys alone. Wait, very, so cab tail grab to backside tail slide? No. Fast, cab, cab nose grab. To, no, fast plant backside tail slide. Oh, wow. Ooh, I there like that. Go. Yeah, because I can do fast plant body jar, and then I did invent a trick in the 90s, maybe early 2000, I can't remember. But I did fast plant tail tap and I called it the Cholito because you could get Cholito. He did one. He did one for the show. <laughs> did one recently. Fast plant tail tap? Can I tell can we Wait, say how you did it? What do you mean? Because I'm good. <laughs> we made an it? alteration. Did we? No, you did it. Oh, you're gonna tell about the, the grippy bit? <laughs> Why are you gonna tell about the grippy bit? I don't bit? know, because <laughs> that was cool. He put some grip tape on the coping so that my uh, tail skin. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah but, but he did tape. it in the in the days of pool coping. Yeah. And this coping is not tail tap friendly i did it up an extension 
That's so cool it was though. easy. It made more sense because you fast play and you go up and then you don't yeah. drop as hard. The grip tape's not cheating. It's okay. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. We used to put that. grip tape on the bottom of our mega boards so we could grab and stuff. What? Yeah. Like grip we grip? would wear gloves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frazzled. Yeah. yeah. And then the gloves are just slippery. Do you so. change your board yet for all different skating? Like, because I remember at Mega Ramp, you were- No, I just use the same thing. Same thing. Same. Yeah, I just tighten the trucks. You do down. tighten the trucks. Though. Yeah, okay. I do tighten the trucks, which destroys my bushings, but- it's okay. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like if you tighten your trucks for Mega, there's not there's no coming back from that and making the board feel the way. It no, did. that's what happens. I'll go skate Elliot's and I'll crank yeah. it all the way down pretty much, and then I'll go and skate Park, and it's twice as loose as it was before. Yeah, just because yeah, it squishes I, down, and then it doesn't right. really. So does that mean you put new bushings in? No, I'm pretty lazy with my board uh, maintenance. I sense that. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> when he was at Mega Ramp at Elliot's, and he was like, "Yeah, this is my park board and my vert board." I was like. I think no. I've been skating the same deck for like a month now or something. See, that's wow. like that, a long time. I that's talent, you know. I just like the way it feels after a while. Like, I don't yeah. know. It's fresh it. new it's stuff. Not what it is. I suppose. It's very talented. Because I need new stuff. Or if I'm going to be good, I need new stuff. Actually, I haven't changed my board lately, but I also haven't skated that much. So <laughs> wow. I, think that, I think that might be it. But I chew them up quick, so I think that's the difference. Yeah. If they get beat up. That's a nice thing about vert, though. Your board will last. Here, it lasts long. Yeah. But it depends where you go. Yeah. But this true. is a nice ramp. It's got nice, it's a nice area on the outside. It's got like the foam little thing. If it hits stuff, it, it's it's very pristine. It's, it's gentle. It's gentle. Mega ramp is not gentle. No. Mega no. ramp rips everything apart. Did you skate the point X one? I love how you don't know that I was the second person to jump the mega <laughs> ramp. I know. No, you don't. I know that you, now. Well, you just you just asked me now. if I wrote. Who, what, don't, point, get, don't get me started. <laughs> get me start. What do you mean? Get no. Don't I get know. Me started. I know that now. But Back <laughs> off, bird man. I said that to you at Elliot. Yeah. Have you skated then... Mega Ramp before? And I was like, bitch. Have I? Oh my god. You're welcome. <laughs> is what you should be saying. Triggered. I. <laughs> I'm the second person to jump the gap ever of all time. I didn't know that then, but yeah. then I said that. And I think my mom watches your podcast or something. And she showed me the clip <laughs> explaining it. And now I, I don't aware. know how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of I learned pumped. though. I'm kind of pumped, but I'm also like, God damn, his mom knows because I'm old, but yeah, fair. <laughs> I'll take it. Whatever. So yeah, I did jump point X. <sighs> this guy. Point X. <laughs> Destroyed Point X. The point I was getting. To. Yeah. What? <laughs> what point? Point X looked pretty crusty compared to like. Yeah. Was well, crusty. at was the it? start, it was good. But then when it became like we all just started skating it and then Vert Dude started showing up and there was sessions. There was there was a time where Danny was, you know, we had a team. DC was there and they yeah. would make sure it was good for Danny. And then when Danny had finished his video part, oh, it, it was like a free for all nail sticking up everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Then it became, then it became, it, kinda, it was weird. It, there were, you know, the, the, did you go there? No. Oh, so there were two by fours going up the, Oh, the, you walked up the roll in. So you had to walk on the side of the roll and up the two by fours. And at some point there'd be eight people all kind of waiting their turn in a line to on it's uh, yeah staggered on the two by fours because yeah. oh there's no there's hardly any deck on top dude so you gotta so wait if someone your turn. was scared up at the top you were just kind of waiting for like a yeah long and time. some people would some <laughs> people would hopscotch over you because they're some people didn't want to go they're like yeah. i don't know if oh, i want to go that's and then how you they know would, like who's yeah. going. that's kind of <laughs> yeah, funny actually. So but they shouldn't have been there <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i jumped a big gap with da just danny and i because i was like i want to jump the big gap i've never done it and he's like let's go i'll, I'll take you because i didn't want to go by myself because I, I trust that at this point, the only person that had jumped a big gap was him. And we went there and the big ramp, the big gap, no one had ridden it for a really long time. And it was really busted up. And the rain had happened on the flat of the kicker of it. And a bunch of dirt and sand had gone over the top of it. So he like dusted it off, but it was still like, there was pieces of gravel on it and stuff. And he wasn't skating. So he was like, it looks pretty slow, so I'd probably, I'd probably, I'd probably pump fully, fully pump. And I'm like, probably. It's seventy foot to the other side, dude. And he's like, yeah, I, I'd, pro I'd probably fully pump, like just, just to make sure you never know. <laughs> and I'm up there on the top, and it's just me and Danny, and he's, you know, because Danny's just like, dude, you got this. And I'm like, you don't care, you know, <laughs> like 
I'm sure you're saying that I've got this, but I've also done tricks before where he said you've got this and then I made it. And he's like, dude, I thought you had no chance. I was like, you told me I had it. He's like, yeah, I was just trying to pump you up. Like, so I knew that about him. But when I jumped it, it was so like when I was on the the top of the rolling, the rails were like what like the the handrails where you so, hold they so were that like thing was like really rickety. falling apart. Huh? Yeah. And it made like a weird crinky sound as I went off the top like it was like ee, 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 and <laughs> oh I was like, God. is this gonna fall as I go down it? Like it was the scariest thing I've ever done. Uh, did you like, make it was it? I didn't I jumped over the gap and because it was so crap. I jumped as I pumped as high as I could. I jumped, jumped as high as I could, it. and I did the you know when you do the the, the coffin run because yeah, yeah. you're gonna rip your own ass off on the bump, <laughs> and I barely made it over the gap. And he's like, "Right, this thing's piece of shit now." Like, you fully pump, and I'm like, "Yeah, I fully pumped." <laughs> so yeah, I don't like that big gap. I don't like that ramp. No, I never liked the big gap. It sucked. Yeah, yeah, it's a different, it's, it's a different beast. And then it sends you. At least 20 to 30 feet. Yeah, the, the lowest pipe, right? you're going is 20 feet yeah. on a quarter pipe. Okay, so what, okay, let's let, let's get back to your skate invert. You're spinning, um, learning tricks pretty quickly. And then you started skating mega right when that movement was happening. My first experience on mega, um, I was like nine. I think I was like nine. This was a horrible idea. I don't know who let me really do this. But Bob, somehow, I got in contact with him, and he was like, he saw that I could skate vert, and he was like, you should come try the mega. And I was like, okay. Bob's a sadistic son of a bitch. Yeah, nine. I was nine yeah, years old. You're nine. You and, should come uh, to the mega ramp, nine-year-old. Yeah. So yeah. then my dad drove me down. Pad. He seems like a nice guy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I was nine. Uh, my dad drove me down to Vista. We went and looked at the ramp for an hour before I like finally put my pads on yeah and then i skated the quarter pipe for a while just got used to it and then i got up to the top and i was standing there for another hour probably yeah. just so scared and bob's standing right behind me just like yelling in my ear he's like go 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 yeah. go yeah because that and is then I, eventually i was like i have to go he's like still saying it for like two minutes straight but he's, he's just trying like, to go. help you i know because you know if you stay up the longer you stay up there the yeah. worse it gets but I was, yeah. You were nine. In your defense, nine. you were nine. I agree. <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you, like, Bob, as sadistic as he sounds <laughs> no, he, right yeah. now, him saying go, go, go was him trying to help you. Yeah. Because the longer you, because of John Schultes, I'll never forget it. He stood there for way longer than an hour. Yeah. People were like, had had a session and got back in the truck and he was still up there. And I was like, you know, you're jinxing yourself by being up That's here this true. long. You got to go right And away. then when he went, he that did a backflip. By accident. Be, yeah. I went eventually. Cause and I went, I dropped in. My truck was like sideways for some reason. What? So I immediately like got spun to my back, and then down I had the like, way down. Yeah, I had like a chest protector thing on, and it like my whole shirt ripped because I hit a screw. Wait, the you got destroyed first from the drop rolling. in ever? Yeah, nothing. I didn't even do anything. Yeah, the chest protector like ripped in half. My knee pad came off. I like cut my knee open. Yeah, welcome to Bob's. Yeah. A lot of screws. Yeah. yeah. It was the yes. new point X. Yeah, yeah. Bob, great skateboarder, not the greatest <laughs> tradesman that's ever lived. And then uh, I like just barely got down to the bottom. With, yeah. Like I was missing a knee pad. My like back protector thing flew off. Mega ramp, man. And then my dad was at the bottom and I just looked at him. And I was like, I don't want to do this. And he was like, yeah, let's, let's leave. And oh, that, that was, was it. Yeah, that was it. But you, you didn't go into the gap. Into no, the no, net. no. I was just very slowly and sad. Sliding. Sliding. Sort of stuff. Yeah. Down the bank. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what was your first? Yeah, how long until successful. you went back? Yeah. So that Experience. was when I was nine. The first time I actually did it, I was like twelve, and it was at Bob's. Oh, you again. waited some years. I was terrified of it. I was like, I'm never doing. Did this. you bring a yeah. screw gun with you? No, but I had to fix the ones that got you. Jeff King was there fixing up the ramp all yeah, the time. That helps. And when I was like a ten or eleven, he handed me a screw gun. I was like, uh, go find screws, and if they're sticking up, just oh put them back God. in the ramp. <laughs> I have I was like, so right. no interest in skateboarding <laughs> anymore with this story. This is so bad. Oh, it was you great. It was gun. great. So you, so you go and hand it, handle it yourself. Did yeah. you find ones that were sticking yeah, out? for sure. Oh. Uh, how hard would that be? Because now you know. <laughs> Just look at the, in a but five part, foot radius. <laughs> n none of them would screw. They're not going to screw back in because they're just all like oh, rotted. And, and also the, so the you just plies, take them out and just the plies sometimes are, are ready to eat you. Yeah, no, like it was, they're sticking all the way up. It was like a going over speed bumps on the way down. Yeah. So kind of you made it over the gap. 
Yeah, I did it when I was 12. Did the gap, did the quarter pipe. How many shots until you rode away over the gap? Uh, I don't... It was like 10 or something probably. Yeah, and then quarter pipe, shit hits the fan, right? The quarter pipe was a little easier actually. Oh. Because I was scared of the gap part. Because Oh, because at Woodward they had the one like with the filled in gap. Oh, there was a... A mini one. No, the one at Woodward West. But I, I, I okay. The, I thought they filled that in for you for the 1080. Is that correct? No, no. So they built it, and it was like a regular mega ramp, but it just didn't have a a gap in between the takeoff and oh. the landing. There was just like a roller across the top. Yeah. So you could skate the quarter pipe and get used to it. Wait, so I was you were worried about falling in the gap? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Yeah. But was I, that never so a concern I, with I, you? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Really? Yeah. My only fear was the quarter pipe. Still is. Uh-huh. Yeah, same. No, yeah. mine was the other way around. No, the, ga- the, the gap, gap is like, the trajectory is going to take you over. Yeah, my I giant I had no problem. That. Yeah. yeah well, someone told over. me that people were falling. I don't know. I think One I got a bunch One person fell, and that was like, <laughs> recently, well, not recent, but like four years ago, because Lizzie's on, Lizzie? the- Yeah, that's the only person that's ever fallen. No, no, other people have fallen in. They did? <laughs> yeah, at Bob's. Yeah, into the net. Yeah. That, and that net is- I mean, it, it, it's a generous term to call it a net. <laughs> it's, yeah, people it's didn't make it. Crusty bushes. rope. People didn't make it over the gap yeah. and fell in the. Th- yeah. Someone like splatted against the, the wall. back of the deck. Yeah. And that wall and that then, he made is, is just full splat. <laughs> yeah. Central. And people did that. Yeah. I did not know that. So that was all I knew before I was trying it. So I was like, well. I yeah, that's crazy. a horrific slam. And that guy weighed, you know, twice as much as I did when I was. 12 so yeah my <laughs> speed going down it probably wasn't that good oh yeah yeah okay i just realized being small there is a chance you don't make it yeah. over the gap yeah when you're 200 pounds as long as you're still standing when you hit the kicker you're going over the gap if there was it might be like, upside down but you're going over if it. there was a yeah. gust of wind i probably wouldn't have made it yeah just catch no, me and- <laughs> wow wow did you have all the pads on for that one yeah yeah did your pads because i noticed that the better you are the 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 Little, you, the least amount of pads you have, you don't even wear. Uh, kind of. There's just like, there's Clay, who's insane, who would just wear knee pads and a helmet. If that. And like a. a didn't ta- he, didn't like he skate a, the vert attack with no pads? Oh, yeah, he did that. But on Mega, he yeah, would Mega just Ram. skate. Oh, I see. Yeah. Knee pads and a helmet. And he the would do 30 foot 540s. The first time I skated Mega Ramp, which was, I was the second person to ever do it in the world. <laughs> I had a basketball jersey on. <laughs> you didn't have a basketball jersey? Yeah, because Danny didn't tell me anything. I had a normal board. After I burnt my arms and ribs and all my body from skating that day, he goes, you should probably get a Mega Ramp board. And I was like, what's a Mega Ramp <laughs> board? He was like, look at this. I was like, dude, your trucks are huge. Oh, uh, like, the 215s. Yeah, 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 215s. Yeah. Yeah. And then a bigger wheelbase. And then that's when I... The, the next time I came, I had a motocross jersey on and, and like t- I had d- duct tape around my wrist yep, and, and yep. I read to ho- keep my gloves on. I had no gloves. The very first time I went down it, he said something as I went down the roll in and I looked back and said, what? <laughs> and then I remember looking back at the kicker and going, I hope whatever he said <laughs> yeah. wasn't like what? really critical. <laughs> Urgent. Yeah. Like don't go or something or. <laughs> Or your wheels coming off or something. Like, I just remember going, man, really? Because it was just like, duh, 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 duh. And I was like, what? Ah. And then <laughs> off the gap. But yeah, the pad. I noticed that these guys, you guys don't have as much gear on. Uh, No, I think we did. I think it was just. What do you wear now when you're on Mega Ramp? Well, I haven't skated Mega Ramp in like. Last time, was it the contest? Uh, X Games, like eight years ago or something. Wait. Probably. Oh, so you don't count. Elias. Oh, Elias, no, I just wear knee pads and a helmet. Because that's little. Yeah. Okay. But the, That gap is what, 30? 25. Oh, 25, is it? Something like that. That gap's 25. His quarter pipe's 20. You know why I know the quarter pipe size? Yeah, why? Because it's the quarter pipe from the Huck Jam. Yeah. Oh. That's the quarter pipe that we used, that we used to put the Jeep on top of. Yeah, and yeah. The bar. And that, that's, that's our ramp. Oh, wow. Well, maybe, it, nah, don't. 18 foot you transition. You can do it. I know. I just, I you just, can do it. Yeah. Okay, wait, but I saw that. It's not necessary. <laughs> All right. So I, I want, I'm trying to get to the, the 1080 project. Okay. When you, so you did your first 900 on that Malibu ramp? No, I did my first 900 at a, 
the Woodward vert ramp onto the resi, if that counts. But the first one I did like on Woodward was on the mega at Woodward. So this is this is how I'll, how I found out. Uh, I knew you did 900. I'm sure you were the youngest person to do it then. There were very few people doing. I think so. And then um, I just get this this out of the blue text from uh, Neil Hendricks, who was working Woodward at the time, and he's like, "Check this out. Look, we just went down." And it's this dude coming down faggy, going over the roller. Some leaked footage. Yeah. Going over the roller. Consent to him. And then 1080. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? And and I thought that that gap, I thought that the gap there always existed and there was no roller over it. So so in my so in my head, I was like, oh, they built him a roller so he could go over it faggy. Kinda. They did, but there is no, there is no gap there. They just built like a- Oh, a so you don't have to jump. Yeah, they made us. You don't have to because you still have to like. So gap, they made like an arc you roller gap up to it. Yeah. Okay, they understood. Like All right, better, that's where it is. A better roller. Right. So they they designed the ramp so that he could just go faking and roll over it instead of having to jump. Oh wow! Because yeah. it's you know the thing is like that. Yeah. Right. Um. But I was so hyped, and I'm just wondering how that project came to be. Because I mean, I feel like a lot. So many people saw it. After it was that. like very. It just like happened all of a sudden. I swear to God, like I told someone the idea randomly because I'd learned nines and then I started doing them pretty not like easy but I was doing them more and then I was like well I mean I'm pretty good at doing like fakey sevens I feel like I could probably did you spin them on something else first I we had a trampoline at our house and I would <laughs> somehow up. like spin them on it doesn't make any sense really it doesn't my mom so likes to think stupid. that that's why I landed it yeah because I would always spin like a bunch on the trampoline. Yeah, but that's what it like. I don't think it helped. Really. I get it. I but yeah, like that's I what it. I would do. I would spin a bunch on my like trampoline that we had yeah. in our backyard, and I would pretend to do like a ten eighty. I used to do the trampoline. But stuff. that that no. day, were your those were your first attempts? Uh, yeah, that's the first time I tried it. Was that day? And Wall then skateboarding, doing a ten eighty. Yeah, is that rolling into that quarter pipe? Yeah, not on vert one time. No, I've only tried one on vert, and I almost like shattered my kneecap you hit the coping yeah straight onto the coping at the y back in the day tried I, one i mean a horrible idea well air to fakey into that yeah all right because i remember i was seven or something when Wait. sean white was trying them oh yeah at and i was there i watched that yeah trying them where at x games yeah because he he built his own ramp uh, at a hollywood studio lot back then just for the sake of doing 10 wait the thing that was on top of the like building it was kind of it looked like it was on top of the building it was it was between two studios but it oh. was kind of high i skated I some ramp with him on top of some building i don't think LA. that was it like when i was no so it has the first attempt going so yeah uh the first was fine i didn't grab my board or anything i just but you just span span yeah and so then that's great news right You're yeah like, i mean i got i got around side, dude come oh, on yeah, yeah for no, sure. these sides are great i'm alive uh, and then the second one was pretty much exactly like that. And then the third one, I actually grabbed it and held it on and like spun around kind of. And then the fourth one was the same thing. And then I, I think I did it like fifth try. Which was, Shut yeah, up. It was crazy. I, I hate you. I didn't think it was going to work. Yeah. I watched it. So like I said, I got, I got the leaked footage and then he comes up to the camera. He's like, did 1080. I did 1080. <laughs> I was a little more excited. Than no, that. but it was more like I, I, it was. It, but everyone felt the same. I, I was yeah, like, I, I, I was guess very, I did. It. I guess I was it very happened. surprised that it worked. Yeah. So does that mean you have that unlocked? Because it didn't seem five tries. Seems like it wasn't that difficult. Um, I don't know. Uh, I've only done like five, really. In Can my you whole... do them in your big body? No, no chance. I don't think so. If really? Maybe that same exact setup was there. Maybe. Hmm. You think it's harder now because you're taller. I can't even grab mute anymore. It's like too Dude, far what is away. That? I to lost like, that too. Yeah, I can't grab mute. What is, is that because we got more meat on your legs, or what happened, or something? If I did another one, huh? Well, I, I lost it because I broke my leg. But I, just, I don't know. It, it I, makes like, me feel better that you can't do it anymore. <laughs> I cannot do a mute backside air, mute five, kickflip mute. Nothing doesn't yeah, work. Me neither. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, and that was your grab, ten eighty mute. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I did that one, and then we went back the next day. Because I was like, well, that was probably a fluke. Like five tries. I don't know how the fuck that happened. But then I did it again, like kind of quick the next day too. Yeah. And then since then, I've only done like two other ones. So, Well, I, there are 
I mean, that's some rare air. 1080s, that's only four people have done that. Is that right? Yeah. You, D, Mitchy, Jono. I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it goes like the, the, the 900 crew is yeah. getting bigger. The 1080 crew stays the same. And then there's one dude that's beyond that. Uh, yeah. Um, I didn't want to dwell on spinning, but th I know that that 1080 clip went crazy viral yeah that was crazy um, for me a lot of a lot of stuff happened because of that do you think that inspired you to believe in yourself a little more to to progress to the level you're at now if anything it kind of helped me like change the way because forever i was just known as like the kid that did 1080s uh. i'd go to a skate park and the biggest quarter pipe there would be five feet and some kid would be like do yeah. a 1080 uh, join yeah, the club yeah, i know i'm yeah. sure you know he gets <laughs> i'm he gets, sure, he gets I'm cold sure you twists know. on like curbs no yeah. no it's it, I mean, it was, and I was like, this is, anything. this is annoying. Like I, I was going to say, I, I would think that it has a negative effect because yeah. it, all the intention is on that. And it's like, well, when are you going to do the next one or the next 12, yeah, the next exactly. stage of that? And I saw it in the years prior to that, where you shifted your focus to more, not foundational tricks, but more tech lip tricks. Yeah, that's exactly. Not so spinny. And I'm sure in the end, you're better for it. I think so. Yeah. I think it helped because forever I was just, it just pissed me off. Like that was all I was known for. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm just going to try and learn other like tech stuff on vert. And then that kind of started to happen. And yeah, it kind of, and then you, rounded as up. the, the contests were happening, the Olympics were coming into play. And I felt like you were on this sort of, you were coming into your own as a skater and your style and your trick selection and everything else. Um, but it has been crazy. Like he said, in the last, just less than a year, you've taken your vert skating to this whole new level while trying to live in the, in the Olympic realm. Trying. Yeah. It's, it's so he frustrating. Some, he's going to do a video. He has some crazy ideas. Yeah. Oh, but you got to get through the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But the Olympics now in park, are you confident that you can still win or does it seem like it's harder now? Uh, it's definitely harder now. There's, harder because you got bigger and you ride vert too much or because other no, people are- kids are insane. There's new little kids that yeah, are making it- they're insanely good. Right. It's ridiculous. Like every, every single person that's in a finals for a park contest could win the Could contest. win, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is not Agreed. the same with, I think, any other- Well- Street kind of could go both ways. Yeah. But like a vert contest, I feel like that you kind of there's, there's probably three that yeah. could take it. But like in a park final, anybody could win, which wow. is like, yeah. Is it more consistency that wins it? Like, is it like your rides are all so difficult if anyone makes? It's like everybody can do gnarly stuff. And if they all land their best runs, like, yeah, yeah the judges are pretty fucked. They're right. Because that that's my next question. How yeah. is it with the judging? Do you feel like you guys are getting a fair shake? Uh, I, a lot of people love to complain about judging, but I really think at the end of the day, they, they get it right most of the time. Okay. Like you can kind of tell who won, Right. I think most, most of, the, of time, the time, mo well, yeah, there's definitely some shady moments. Right. <laughs> Tate just, it just happened actually. He should have won Did that contest. That? No, dude. It was crazy. That was, that was rough. That yeah. was so, I watched it live and I was just like, wait, are they going to, oh, yeah. So the the rule is if if the buzzer hits and you're heading up a ramp like upward yeah. yeah. that wall count counts. Yeah. And he did his, the run he came to do his best run. Yeah. Most likely was going to win. For sure. And at the end I think his run because he was going so fast it kind of he he kind of ended the run earlier than usual. Yeah. So he still had a second on the clock and he was going up just this little pyramid thing. And he just kind of kicked it away, like he wasn't even really trying. Because every other time he did it, that was he was his time was up. Okay. But he was already heading up that pyramid thing, so they counted it as a bail. But he, but he, he didn't try to make it. He was bailing. He. It was like in between. It was kind of like he just uh, yeah. kind of. It was yeah. just a throwaway. He was, he was like, like yeah. ah, I'm not yeah, even. His running was over. But like, yeah, this wall doesn't matter. And then yeah. he realized as he was falling, he's like, wait, did they count that wall? But he did the same run in the semis right before, and he got like a 94. Right. But then with that bail, he got like an 82. Or something. Yeah. It and was painful. It was very painful. I mean, lesson learned. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Like, don't don't yeah. ever think it's over. 
It ain't, yeah. over, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah. What about if he had a kicked the board up into his hand and- Anything, if, if he would have done a 5-0. Yeah, if he just if he wouldn't would have, have gone over it, to his knees. He would have won. He would have won yeah. for sure. But that was wow. crazy. I mean, I think, I think won. the judges should have. It, it would be up to the judges. There were some other killer runs for sure. No, yeah, everyone, everyone skated. Really um, you still have like two more events, right, to qualify? Yeah, the next two are like the really only important ones so far. Everything else has been worth like a certain amount of points and the last two are worth like five times as much, so- that's and it's weird because he he's living and I'm just sorry if I'm speaking for you, but he's living in this in this outer circle because he's not part of the USA skate team because he's not officially one of the selections. Yeah, why? Aren't you? So he's on know. his own. So he's just well, on his own. Kind of I kind of like why? it though. It's kind of nice. Why aren't to... why aren't you in it? Because they did like a a national qualifying contest a year ago, and you didn't go more than a year ago. No, I went. I just didn't do very good, so I just didn't get selected for it. Right, but it's for the country, right? Yeah. Right. So they all so have what, they all have these resources. Their travels paid for everything else. Yeah. And Tom's like the lone wolf, just like I'll I'll show up. It's kind so of. It's not, yeah, I'm not saying I it's a bad thing. Like it's just it's 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 the realm he lives in. Zoom calls and stuff. What so, place yeah. do you have to get to qualify? <laughs> uh, I think they took the top four from that to like make the team. No, I'm saying now to qualify, oh, the top three. We have to be in the top twenty of everybody. But if there's more than three people from your country that are in the top 20, yeah, then it's just those top three. So like, there's like six Americans in the top 20 right now. So you have to get third yeah. or better. Yeah, in the next, of the Americans. Of the yeah, of the US. In how many contests left? Two. There's two. <laughs> no worries. I'm in, I'm in fourth right now, so we'll see though. Yeah, but you got. Two. But everyone's like very close. And yeah, but when is the is, wait? So because Vertilert's coming up. Vertilert is coming up. I think it's like the weekend. Oh, that's rough. Before Budapest, so maybe it's in June, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like so maybe don't do that. Oh, I mean, sorry. he's gonna be pissed. See, if it's you, after Budapest, that'd be sick. Yeah, but you need to. I don't remember. You need to qualify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Sorry, I was thinking of the date because we just said the date. I opened my phone and Jared sent a message to me just now and it says you got to get Tom to commit to the vert alert on the pod he was <laughs> <laughs> and we're just now talking about it he was trying to get me and, to I'm, to and I'm talking you out of it at the same time that's really cool yeah he was trying but, to get but, me to agree I yeah, changed my mind okay, dude you so should I'm totally torn. do the vert alert yeah, no, it's it's funny I'm torn because <laughs> of course I want you to go and you would be a favorite but I don't want to wreck any of your chances for qualifying so it's I, I understand. Look, you got to pass. Well, we got to see. You got to pass. See. If like Shanghai goes extremely well and I'm like somehow looking okay on points. Okay. So maybe, yeah. in Shanghai, if you get like, if you win or you get second, you're in. Not, I mean. Not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. A much better chance. Yeah. Can't they do some sort of, for the sake of the country, just have you in it? They kind of can. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, he didn't qualify. And it's like, oh, he didn't qualify. It's like, yeah, but he's going to win the actual Olympics. So it's let's, like, just, right. let's just put him on ice and bring him out when it's time to fight. Him on we, ice. Yeah. we had the first, uh, we did that 80s all day contest at Quicksilver. Yeah. That was like 2000, I don't know, Ten. eight or something. 10, yeah. Like and uh, it, it was like, Everyone's supposed to, you know, it was all of these 80s vert skaters. They built an 80s size ramp. We all had to w ride our OG equipment. Yeah, It was just a ridiculous thing, but Dave Carney was a judge. Yeah. And Christian bailed in his qualifying runs. Yeah. And uh, they're like, hey, we need to get the top 10. And and, and Dave's like, <laughs> Christian goes to the finals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, well, well, he didn't score. He's like, he did now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm for but that. he was right. Of course, Christian goes yeah. to the finals. It doesn't they, make they sense. Should, they should let that happen for yeah. some people. Right. <laughs> and for you, you should be in the Olympics. Yeah. You should be chilling right now. Like him and then if Jimmy, if Jimmy just kind of on a whim, yeah, maybe I'll skate the Olympics. He's in. Yeah, for We're sure. We're talking about, it's not about <laughs> Tom, it's about America. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, for when it comes to the US next, I think they get to have like an honorary extra person that gets to go. Well, then that's you. Because when it was in Japan, they had, uh, what's his name? The snowboarder who's insane. But he got oh, to Japanese skate. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got to skate in the park contest as like the representing the home country. Right. So 
maybe that works for the next one. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. Well, I mean, you should talk to the president or something about that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Joe Biden go all the way to the top. You can actually just walk in. What do I got to? I don't know. I don't I even know. Be, like mafia, that. Like you, what? I don't think it's a good idea. That <laughs> It'd be a real <laughs> shame if we didn't see Tom in the Olympics. Right. It'd be a real shame if this whole building burned down. Yeah. <laughs> would be. Organization. Yeah. I'm not saying anyone's going to get got hurt. Got broken up or got sued or got investigated. Hurt. Be That's real right. shame. Yeah. That's all we're saying. Yeah. For the sake of America. Now I'm, now I'm yeah, definitely man. not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with like a Budweiser Bella Clava or something and be like, America. Uh, yeah. We can get this done. It needs to be in there. Don't well, make me wreck shop. If I don't make it, the people that are representing it right I'm now. I'm gonna boycott the Olympics very, if you don't make it. They're very sick though. So no, shut up. Stop I'm being. just saying. Just saying. No, shut no no Tom, oh, no Olympics. Sca- what? Dude, yeah. I mean The people that are in the top three are yeah. they're very good and they represent skating in a good way. So Yeah, okay. Olympian athlete angle. <laughs> I get it. Sorry, should I be more of a Tate's in there? Gonna, Tate, I'm not, Tate, I'm, I'm not saying Tate's bad. I'm just Tate's saying. Tate's going to win the whole damn thing. I believe Tate yeah. will do very well. Yeah. Well, that was very diplomatic of you, too. No, I did. I, I, <laughs> but hold on. Hold on. I'm shot for, <laughs> I, shot for I, America. I, te- I texted. Hold on. I was, watching, I was watching a qualifying run like two years ago, and it, it was some Gregson footage. You know, he's there, whatever, yeah. some story. And I just wrote, wrote Tate, Paris. 2024 and he's like what I'm like just wait right and here we are yeah he's you coming see in. things what's that <laughs> you see things tony i saw it yeah i saw it i think he'll do well yeah do you think i hope tom qualifies and i think tom will do well if he qualifies do you think he, do you hope or do you you see it what's that do you, <laughs> do you hope or do you see it it's it's Use hard your vision it's hard to see with his lack of confidence in the park stuff Use your uh, whole guy. i know and see it. wait you if got he lack, were like wait, you uh, got a lack of no, I just, uh, just snap just out of it, small dude. Small quarter America. pipes. Think of your country, little, little trannies. America. I know. I mean, I, I. It's where were you born? I think it's more because <laughs> I, I feel your pain, Tom. That's why I feel your pain. Yeah. In the park skating, because I, you know, I have to do my own versions of park skating sometimes. I'm like, cool. Here comes a body jar, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I just can't. And a tail slide. Tom Shaw landed the free. That's all I'm saying. Give him the goddamn, put him in. That's it. Give him the bib. Let's well, go. if the rumors about uh, Vert being in it are true, that'll be. I'm trying. I'm doing everything. Cool. How I many can. Australians are good these days? A lot. A lot. I'll forget that then. A lot. Just saying, I could be back. Oh, you could. Yeah. You could. You might have American. to. Dude, might have to Tanya Harding a couple. You guys get one of those one of those park courses. No, I don't want. To. It will be torture yeah. for you. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> But I could be there as like, uh, like, uh, you know, I could like break people's legs in the the, the locker room. Yeah, yeah. Tanya Harding. I could hurt Tanya Harding that shit. Yeah. Could work. I got a sweet leg kick. You ain't (laughs) stealing shit with one of my legs. Use your strengths. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Wait, but you're. You're gonna do that on behalf of Australia? Yeah, I know. That means you I'm, would be hurting Tom. I'm perplexed. I really like America. And I take issue with that. I think I might kick an Australian at this point. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay. I'm cool with like America, gold, Australia, silver. Like, yeah, Keegan won last year. I'll kick he a French got, kid or yeah. something. What you do know? you what do you see? Okay, I'm so over the Olympic talk. What do you see beyond the Olympics? I really just wanna not worry about doing contests for a while and just film a lot of stuff like mm. me and chris are trying to work on a lot of different things yeah i'm excited for that yeah me they too he told me some stuff he told me stuff he wants to do it's, it's uh it's next level furthering the sport that's what we need yeah something i don't know for, i just want to not furthering our appreciation for him <laughs> yeah. i don't know if anyone's gonna follow that lead because it's gonna be gnarly dude to, yeah, these, these the little kids from japan that gave vert yeah, all learn a trick, and the next day, every time oh, they all do see, it. yeah, it's and they insane. do it twice in a row. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Well, that's awesome because you know, I'm, we're, we are talking about Olympics, but skateboarding is global. I don't really care what country you come from. If you're rad, you're rad. Yeah, you know? for sure. And if people can progress, and and I come to a ramp one day, and there's a bunch of dudes I don't know doing stuff I've never seen before, I'm pumped. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm just happy for us. Agreed. It is sick. Well, Tom, thanks for sharing your story. Thank you for your skills. Yeah. Thank you Thank for you guys. showing us what is possible. America thanks you, obviously. Love. 
just just try to skate vert having fun it's been a lot of fun i haven't had this much fun skating since i was like a kid it, it was, shows dude i'm really like yeah you're on fire and it was so fun having you on that trip to australia uh it's just the atv of all atvs thank you yeah it's crazy. The trip was fun good all right stuff. tom well, good luck in the next one thank you and uh we'll see you on the slopes i'll be out there well Trains i can describe back. assholes what's up the, why the, i mean like i can describe great people of this <laughs> world what the fuck dude let me go <laughs> okay bye people know uh, thank you Tom <laughs> thank you guys to everyone out there we love you thanks Jesus. for watching our show thanks for yeah, I subscribing yeah, yeah. liking what he, what he commenting yeah. Yeah. I love everybody man you god they I are, shop they are the ones it. that are allowing us to do this for a living I'm very grateful alright god that's more like it see ya <laughs>